Hi everybody, here we are again with Rivet Training and today we're going to look at precast hollow core slabs. So uh, this is going to be a family, structure frame and family. So we want to go into new, into the new, uh, we want to create a, a family based structure framing. So we're going to go down in our templates and we're going to go to our structural framing bands and braces. And we'll just open that up. Okay. Now, we have our template open and what we want to do first here, once we go into this template, we want to um, let's do a window tile and see where we got our default views open. We don't have any views open. Okay, so let's open the reference level floor plan which we have. We'll do a we'll open a front elevation. We'll do a left view and a 3D view. Now let's do a window tile. That's Z A for zoom off. Now what we want to do first, uh, we want to go into our left view. So let's just go, that's the floor reference floor. So our left view, let's just expand our left view. And uh, you wanna, this, this extrusion that we have in here initially, let's just select this guy. Okay, then we wanna go into our uh, modify tab and hit edit extrusion. Okay, so now we have an edit extrusion tab, and basically all we want to do from here is, uh, and let's just delete it from this view. We don't need this. So let's hit delete. Okay, now. We want to import in our, our CAD file, and that's going to be a, let's just go to CAD, let's go to insert. We want to import CAD. And I have this file on my desktop, I think. Uh, yes. So you can use any type of CAD, any type of profile you like. Um, you can take these for model CAD drawings and use your profile. I'm just using this one because I have it and I got this from a, one of my manuals I have here that I work with. So um, we want to select this file and while we select it, we want to select um, current view only and we want to do the colors. I want to, we want our colors to be black and white and um, we want to use all the layers. We want to have our import at auto detect. And we want to positioning is going to be auto center to center. Okay. And then we'll click open. Okay, any day now. <laughs> I guess just looking for it on my desktop or something. Okay, now this message will appear uh, says for importing incidents in parametric balance may hurt really performance. Do you want to continue? Uh, we'll just say yes. Okay. Now we have the imported AutoCAD file. So now what we want to do is uh, we want to select the material over in our properties by dialog in this little builder block. We'll go into our material library and we'll go with uh, precast concrete. We'll click OK. And there we have our material It's precast concrete. And then we'll click our finish. And there we have our family. Now let's uh, look at the 3D view here. 
and there's our family of our precast plank. Now, actually, I think we want to save this file right now. And so we'll go a file. We'll say save as family. And we'll call this, um, I don't care, you can call it whatever you like. But let's just call it precast hollow course lab. And I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to place this, uh, put it on my desktop. Uh-oh, what happened there? Uh-oh, I don't know what happened. Sorry, guys. Let's try again. So we got a file. Save as family. Oh. I'm going to precast how the course lab. And we'll say options here. And we always want to put this at one. Okay. And we'll save. Now. While we're in this view, let's just select this, this plank here. And we want to go into the Modify tab, and we want to set uh, we want to set our visibility settings. So let's set visibility settings. And here, um, we see this dialog box that appears. And uh, we want to verify that uh, course is clear. OK, so here. You want this to be clear because we don't want to show all the detail. And uh, these are the corresponding views. So we'll just say OK here. Now let's go into our view control bar. And we'll click on this little guy right here, preview visibility. We'll turn it on. And I will set this to course. And as you'll see, that's what we did. We basically changed the view settings to course. And so we've got that done properly. So that's all good. So that's good. So now let's uh, go back to medium. Let's go into our left view. And uh, we want to select uh, create. We want to do another extrusion. And now while, we, that, while we're in this view, we'll see that the uh, work plane box appeared. And uh, we want to check the default, which is pick a plane. And we'll say OK. And now we'll pick this plane. Uh, okay, we got it. And then we want to draw a rectangle around the hollow core slab. So let's just draw a rectangle. Uh, we'll go from about here to here. And then we lock this. And now also in the properties for this material, we want to make this precast concrete as well. We'll say OK. And then we'll click Finish. So now let's activate our floor plan reference level. And then we want to align and lock uh, our new extrusion. OK, I forgot a step here. We should have. Let's go align this one to that. Actually, let's just do it this way. Let's go align.
Okay, let's pull that guy, because I don't know if he went or not. It's very hard to see. Let's undo this. Let's grab this ex new extrusion that we created on that left side. Yes, there we have it. You're going to align this one. Let's do it this way. Let's go align and lock. Same way here. Align and lock. Okay. Now I think we can safely do a finish. Yeah, we got it finished and everything, so we're all good. We got it aligned, but everything locked. So now let's select. Let's tab in here and find a new reference. I mean, the, the new extrusion we created. Uh, come on now. Okay. There it is. So we'll select that new extrusion. And let's modify this visibility settings for that. So we're glad to modify the visibility settings. And so now this one, we want to change, we want to deselect medium and fine. And then we'll say, okay. Now, yes, we can preview this to see what we actually did here. Okay, so we've done, we're basically showing uh, this, this uh, we, we're not showing all the detail, and that's what we just set out here. Now, you can, this is optional to you. I'm just showing you how to do it. Let's turn these off. Now, let's go into our reference floor level, which we are in. And now we want to um, go to the view control bar and we want to be in wireframe, which we are. Now let's go into our annotate tab and let's look at, uh, let's pick on symbolic line. Now in the symbolic line uh, here in the subcategory, we want to set this guy at Hidden lines projection. Okay. Now, in the modify tab, we're going to go place line. And we want to clear the chain option here. And our options bar. Okay, now let's just place, let's draw hidden lines horizontally along the edges. So let's draw a line here. One here. So basically, these are the hidden lines for the core. I mean, I'm also going into details. We've covered a lot of stuff. This is just some new features in the Revit that, that you don't know that they're there. <laughs> and then over there, I never went this far with uh, doing plank, but I guess precaster is good for you if you're a precaster. So now, um, Let's set the view control bar to hidden line. And there, there you see our hidden lines that we just created. Okay, now um, let's select these hidden lines. Let's grab all of these. Uh, modify, let's just do control. Oh. Like these lines. I'm holding control now. Okay, now 
We selected all these lines and now let's go to visibility settings once again for these lines. And um, we want to set the visibility settings here for, for medium and fine. Or you, you can do whatever you said you like, but in most cases we'll do uh, medium and fine. So let's just uh, let's take course off and then we'll set the medium and the fine and we'll say okay. Now let's save this. Uh oh, I missed one. Oh well, we'll see what happens with that. I missed one in the line. So now let's save this. Now let's open up the project. And let's do a structural template so we don't have to worry about certain settings. Okay, let's do a window tile. And now we can do one of two things here. We just load this guy in. Or we can go to Beam. But we gotta load him in first. So let's load family into project. There's only one project, so we'll go straight there. And then we'll go to our structure tab. We'll go to Beam. There's our precast. I got spelled it wrong, precast the huh? And there's our Power core. And that's what happened with the line I missed. <laughs> so there you go, folks. That's how you do precast uh, family in Revit. Uh, we go to our realistic view. And there it is. So, short little video on precast plank. Uh, Hope I help you out. And like I said, all you precasters, you may have a cross section for your plank. Use that and go with it. And use the the, the basic braces category. So thank you for watching this video and y'all have a good one. And if you like this video, if you have any comments, please place in the comment section. And of course, I need subscribers. It helps me out a lot. Thanks again for watching and bye.